lighting, but the windows in here it is odd somehow. Anyway, so cookies are done. They're going to dry. Um, and then I'm getting ready to start on this cake. It is a six inch round. I've got it triple stacked. Normally if you order a six inch round from me, it's just two layers. So it's like this height. Um, th this design's a little different. It's going to be like an anime themed. I'm not familiar with the character, but with the design, it's going to be, I thought the height would help it. It's going to be covered in like a royal blue fondant, kind of like, I think the clothes that the character wears. Anyway, so it's going to look like that. So that's why it's three, three stacked. And also I thought a quick tip I could tell anybody who, anybody who bakes at home, whether it's cakes or pound cakes, or you can even do this with, um, well, I don't know. I was going to say you could do this with pretty much anything that you bake that you over cook, but it's, but it's sweet, so I don't think you want to do this with everything. But anyway, what I was going to say is, anytime I decorate a cake, this was baked last night, it's been cooled, it was wrapped in plastic wrap to keep it from getting, you know, aging it all or drying out. I actually stuck these in the freezer for a couple hours because when you're covering something with fondant, it actually has a crisper edge and just does a better job if you've had it chilled. But also, again, what I guarantee it's not you know, going to dry out or anything. So this is just a fondant tool. You can also use a toothpick and I'm just punching a bunch of holes in it. And then this is simple syrup. You don't have to have the weird squeeze bottle like this, which is just equal parts granulated sugar and boiling water. And you just keep stirring it until it turns clear and then let it cool. Keep it in the fridge when you're not using it. Last for a couple weeks. And I just put a little bit on there. It should go down to those holes I just put. And then I let it sit for about five minutes so it completely soaks in before I ice this. Because even though it's going to be covered in fondant, I am going to do a layer of buttercream underneath the fondant. So, while that's sitting and waiting, I finished the cookies that no one knew what they were. Are there any final guesses? Michelle, hello again. Meredith, hey. So, I finished the cookies. And... Did anybody guess flowers? It's like a little modern flower. How cute is that? It's a really simple flower. I do this all the time when I do bridal shower orders um, or, or anniversary orders or anything girly at all that they're like, well, I'll just throw some flowers in there in the wedding color. This is the best way to do that. So I'm all about these flowers. Super easy. Paw print, paw print shaped cutter into a flower. So. If anybody watching, you can comment on this video or any of the past videos and I will be looking at those comments late tonight when I get done with all this. Um, if anybody wants them, like I said, I have, I have about 10, seven of them are the flowers and I have a couple other cookies that were just left over from the other order that I just put some polka dots on that I could throw in that match. Um, but the only problem is you'd have to meet me tomorrow morning at 1030 at Southwood Christian Church off Harrisburg Road because that's when I'm meeting my other customers and I have a wedding delivery tomorrow so I won't be able to come back over to the church. So, if anybody wants them for free, comment on here. If more than one people comment or more than one person comments, then I will draw a name. But 10.30 tomorrow morning is the only time I can really get them to you because I'm not leaving the house again today. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I'm doing there. Like I said, this is my next level of difficulty for the day, the fondant covered anime cake. So I'm going to be doing that. I've got to make some little fondant rocks to put on there. And then I'm going to jump back over to um, a baby shower cake I think I have that has a little sloth on top. A baby sloth. Such a cute thing. So I made him yesterday. So I'm going to pop him on top of the cake here later. And then I'll definitely chime in when I am working on the wedding cake so you can see that. I know Michelle, right? Like who would thought of that, right? And there are, if you get on like YouTube and stuff like that, you'll see, you know, tutorials on whether you, people use different cookie cutters, um, but not at all for what you would think. So for instance, at Christmas, I make a lot of Rudolph or reindeer faced cookie cutter or cookies. It's just his face. It's actually the gingerbread man cutter. If you flip it upside down and put it, make his feet the antlers. That's the gingerbread man, but it might get into a reindeer. And I make a ton of those every Christmas. Um, when I had the storefront, I know Charity's probably not on here, but that had a, a lady that worked for me. She decorated cakes, but her specialty is cookies. 
And that's actually what she does now is just cookies. And so she has done so many styles of cookies and that was one of, the, one of the things that she showed me. She was like, just because it says it's a gingerbread man or a paw print does not mean that's what you have to use it for. So since she told me that, it really does, there's all kinds of different options out there. So you don't have to buy a thousand different cookie, cookie cutters every year, which is what it kind of feels like you do. Anyway, so it is a flower. Betty, I saw you, you just chimed in or just logged on. See Betty? It's a flower. Not about what you would think. Anywho, so if you're interested, comment, and you can meet me tomorrow at 10:30. I'll be glad to drop them off to you. And um, like I said, if more than one person wants them, then we'll just draw names. But I'm gonna pop back off here because this cake's gonna take me a little bit, and I want to make sure I do a good job. I think my simple syrup has soaked in enough. I'm gonna do a thin layer of buttercream, cover it in royal blue fondant. I've got some little stripes and a collar to add to make it look more like a shirt it is, some rocks, and then the customer is adding a few characters of the actual anime character to the cake when it's done. I just sent my husband out to pick me up some Starbucks, so I'm super excited about that because I haven't had Starbucks since quarantine started. So next time I'm on here, I might be really caffeined up. <laughs> but um, thanks you all for keep popping on and joining me. I appreciate it. And if you didn't watch the first two videos, Go on, on Facebook Live this morning, go on, check those out. I think what I'll probably do is next week, I'll piece these in my editing software, I'll piece these videos together and just post it as one big video on YouTube. You know, kind of like a day in the life <laughs> of my decorating job. So anyway, I'm, I'm probably gonna end up doing that. And again, if you haven't checked out Landon, do, or Landon Hunter and my husband Aaron on YouTube decorating cookies, check that out, I posted it on Thursday fantastic work they did there but thanks for watching and i'll be back in in about an hour and a half two hours